Hey Starshine, how are you? I'm TK, and today I will play more of Detective Grimoire. Um, I apologize, I have a teeny bit of a cold, maybe? Or maybe I just overworked myself? I don't know, it's hard to tell. Um, <laughs> so my voice might be a little bit stuffy and weird. And one, I kind of wanted to play another game, there's a couple other games, but either it took a lot of talking, or I just don't have the energy right now. So I decided, hey, this is voice acted, so I don't have to read a ton of stuff, so my sore throat probably won't get too bothered, and also it doesn't take too much concentration. So anyway, enough about blab 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 I'm, it, it's Nothing is gonna save me from being unable to speak, though, but that's all the time. So let's just, let's move forward. I don't think it's a window, but this hatch is shut at the moment. I can't see inside. This side of the museum is surrounded by blue and red flowers. Ooh, pretty. Blue and red. Okay, so that's everything, right? Wait, no, no, no. We learned that not... It's a stepping stone path that goes past the museum and into the woods. So glad I'm wearing my best shoes today. Mmm, I'm sorry. By the way, I just realized, did I say Detective Grimoire again? I said Detective Grimoire again. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Tiny TK, for ruining my pronunciation of gri Grimoire. I I, I'm just not good at French anyway, so... That's the logo for Boggy's Bog. So, I'm guessing this museum is an official part of the tourist attraction. I hope they don't charge an entrance fee. I, I, I would not want to walk into this building. It's a stepping stone. So nope, I already... Anything else? That museum is quite a nice building. No, it's not. Which makes it look even more out of place in a swamp. Is it being held up in wooden supports? It's bizarre. Yeah, it's... It's, it's pretty... I don't want to step inside. There's less light back there. Those trees are getting thicker and thicker. Well, There's okay. less okay, light. No, same thing. All right. That museum is. What is it? Okay. That museum. No, 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 no. Walking mode. The door's jammed unless I can get these brass handles out of the way. Seems like I can rotate them around Got just it. until the gap in the middle is clear. Got it. Okay. So you first, then you. No, don't bounce back. Stay. And you. And you. That and you. top hat guy would have so struggled with this one. Top hat guy, top hat guy. What's that a reference to? What's that a reference to? Somebody tell me what that's a reference to. There's a little door in the wall here. I think it leads outside. It's locked, though. How would I know? I'd have to, like... I climbed over this guy and just started jiggling the handle. And he's just like, uh, uh, I'm not here. I'm in my book or my files. I think it's a file thing. Whatever you call those. Models of Boggy's Claws. Hold on. What's this? Something doesn't seem right here. Ooh. I think I should try arranging these models into pairs. Something seems out of place. All right, all right. Hey, something really seems out of place, huh? I don't think these gloves are part of the exhibit. It looks like someone tried to hide them here. By the way, it's just do not touch, but we touched. We touched a lot. According to historical sketches, the skin would have had a number of spots and patterns similar to that of a toad frog. Three prominent sharp claws, supposedly the primary weapon of the boggy swamp monster. Some early sketches even show a small thumb. Nothing to look at? Alright, back. Okay, these flippers are not part of the museum exhibit, that's for sure. These are skulls? Oh, they're just models. Creepy models. <laughs> Books about boggy and other mysterious creatures. I'll read them some other time. Aw. Who? Things in jars. Who? I don't like things in jars. What about pickles? Unless the thing is marmalade. What about pickles? This is a really cramped museum. Just one room? 
Not worth the admission price. Oh, look at this! It's so cute! Um, ah, oh, my cursor's not showing, sorry. It's a poster this. from the old Boggy cartoon show. I keep forgetting I don't have my cursor on. Here we go. Look how cute it is! Ah! Oh, it's so adorable! I love it! Boggy playing the piano. He's having a grand old time. He's having a grand old time. He's so happy. It says another story from Boggy's Bog. But actually, I think this is from the very first episode. Oh, well, liars. It's a poster from the old Boggy cartoon show. Got it. It's a poster. Got it. It's a poster. Got it. Swamp Studios, providing the best in swamp based animated entertainment. Okay. Copyright MCM XXXIV. That would be 19... 1930... 1934? Is he correct? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. The way he questioned it Let's made me be like, here. wait. This journal belonged to the explorer who first discovered Boggy in the swamp 60 years ago. Hmm. I'd better take a look at this. Got it. This journal, huh, it's full of drawings and notes all about Boggy. It seems to be the centerpiece of the entire museum. All right, a journal recorded 60 years ago by the explorer her f who first visited the swamp. The only record of Boggy existing contains notes and sketches on the appearance of the swamp creature. Boggy is shown with three small claws on each arm. Boggy's feet are always hidden in the water. There seems to be a page ripped from the back. Okay. That's good to know. Uh... Some educational facts about swamps. Did you know swamps are gross? Yes. Yes, I did. Really, are they? Hmm. Apparently the museum was founded by the explorer many years ago. And it's still standing somehow. In a different location. Oh! It's only recently been moved here to be part of the truest attraction. My word! That might explain why it looks so out of place. I mean... I really putting a building in a swamp period is probably going to look out of place. This is a really cramped museum. Not worth the admission price. Wait, did I? I thought I said that. Apparently, so. this is the exact hat worn by the explorers 60 years ago. Uh, it seems everyone is destined to lose a hat or two in this damn swamp. Sorry. Apparently, no. uh, it seems... No. Some educational fact. Did you know? Apparently... Uh, no. Um, is this the place? I, I don't know. Um, one of the achievements is looking at all the boggy stuff. And I'm not sure if this is here or not. Uh, before we talk to this guy, I think there's a few new things for the suspects, maybe? I don't know. Wait, were these new? Okay, wait, go back, go back. Um... Notes. Uh, ba ba ba. Clues? Yeah. New clues. So I already saw these notes. Suspects. New things about Boggy? Alright. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I think we're fine. Um, anything new about him? No. Oh my word, he made- he made noises. We're missing one fact about him. Uh, we're missing two from him. And then we only got four of Boggy, we need four more. Anyway, uh... Okay, let's talk to this guy then. Hey! Let me guess, you don't work here, do you? I wonder if that makes you the first tourist I've seen today. You're incorrect, detective. I am no mere tourist. How did you know I was a detective? Was it my stylish trench coat? My sensitive, inquisitive manner? <laughs> it was the clueless expression on your face. What are you talking about? 
Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> right. That's it. You've done it now. What's your name? I go by Folder. Agent Folder. What are you doing? <laughs> Look at his face. Writing bad things about you in my notebook. I'm doing a drawing of your beautiful face. Right, my diary, it's been a long day. I want to, I'm doing I'm I'm doing a drawing of your beautiful face. I'm doing a drawing of your beautiful face. <laughs> no reaction. Absolutely none. I picked it because I wanted to know what his reaction would be and I got nothing. So if you're not a tourist and you don't work here. I am a scholar, an academic. I'm here to research the past and uncover the future. So you call yourself you're an visiting agent, the museum for fun. Fun! <laughs> well, there's nothing so simple as fun to be had here. I come to this museum night and day to study its secrets. Ah, Good to know. what kind of secrets? It's just a museum about Boggy, right? The swamp creature. He's one of the most intriguing modern examples of cryptozoology. A fascinating combination of scientific fact and wild speculation. I'm with you on the speculation front. Although, come to think of it, people have been hinting that I should find out about the history of this creature. A wise suggestion. And you've come to the right person. My knowledge <coughs> far exceeds anyone else you might have met so far. So, you'll help me? I suppose I could divulge some of my findings with you. If you're in the mood for a little light reading, let me find it for you. Oh, yeah, this'll do. Something for uh, beginners, at least. Okay, Folder's file. Information about Boggy, collected by Agent Folder. Boggy Swamp became a protected area after reports of hunting in the area. Uh, Boggy's appearance has changed from the original sketches, in which he has three claws on each arm. The modern character has simple, fin-like arms instead, to make him less threatening. No footprints were recorded in the journal, but some experts believe that information is out there somewhere. Oh, yeah, he does have flippers. He looks so much cuter now. He looks kind of- Kind of weird. So, Mr. Folder. Agent Folder. Yeah. Uh, were you here you yesterday? What were you doing last night? I was here in the museum, going through my files one final time before disappearing into the night. Don't museums usually close in the evenings? They do. I've never been one to worry about other people's schedules. Okay. I come and go as I please. Okay. There's a key to every <laughs> lock, detective. Oh, so you have the key to the museum? Of course I don't. Why would you think that? Well, I... Once again, that colorless <laughs> expression. I use a lockpick and get into the small <laughs> side door. I have a right to be here, you see. Remington has no business locking me out, so I don't let him. You just Gee. admitted to breaking the law. If everyone did that, my job would be a lot easier. <laughs> it's not my best lockpick. This new one's cheap. I used to own one, a superior model. What you say? I was placed it in one of the darker corners of the swamp, so I don't... I'm writing down your confession about sneaking around here at night. What are you gonna do? Report to Remington? Good luck, my friend. I need to pick my questions carefully. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, Grimrar, I love you! <laughs> the lockpick. I found inside near. I lost near. Okay, I found near the treehouse. Uh, was definitely the murder weapon. Yeah, I totally murdered someone with a lockpick. Has been there for years. Might belong to Mr. Harper. Might belong to Agent Folder. The lockpick I found near the treehouse might belong to Agent Folder. Ooh, that's nearly right. What? What? Found near... I found inside. I was given by animals. I found near the lockpick near the treehouse might belong to Agent Folder. What else could it be? Remington's body? The lockpick. I found near Remington's body might belong to Agent Folder. 
As far as I know,、oh. Agent Folder is experienced with lockpicks. I wonder if he's hiding something. Oh yeah, duh! It's the treehouse is someplace I actually haven't been yet. But it remind I thought that was I thought that was Remington's place. My bad. All right, challenge unlocked. All right, well we'll do that in a second. So, Mr. Folder. Agent Folder. Shoot, I'm sorry, I already did that. Um, something、pick. you found on the floor. Come back when I'm not so busy, all right? It's your lockpick, ain't it? Oh, I gotta do the challenge. What's this? The real swamp creature had claws, three on each hand to be precise. But why does the costume just have these pathetic fins instead? I mean, the new version has fins, right? Okay. This say... file goes over some basic differences between the genuine creature and the cartoon character. It's nothing more than a basic overview, really. Um. Flippers. Guesswork. Nobody can know what Boggy's feet look like. Good、It's、to know. It's his greatest secret. Ah.、Uh... An important piece of the puzzle. This journal is a key to unlocking the history of this place. Actually, this is a classic example of a cryptid photograph. What's a cryptid? A creature unknown to science. Look at the slight blurring in this photo. The the murky exposure. It's perfect. It's perfect because it can't really be used as evidence. Now you're catching on. <laughs> um, you're、fact. wasting your precious time, detective. Okay, I'm sorry. I've never seen that before, and I never want to see it again. Okay, good to know. I have no interest in something like that. Okay. Whoops! I should just assume. He, I should save time and just not ask things that are not going to have an answer. Most likely, the man was a fool. That's all you need to know. Thanks to know. I mean, good. <laughs> what? What? Are you asking about the cartoon character? Because I have no interest in such childish matters. No, I think I'm asking about the actual creature. <laughs> What's the difference anyway? Everything. <laughs> you still didn't give me an answer. Let me ask about If、you. I cared about that person, I would know everything I need to know already. <laughs> he doesn't know anything about himself. He doesn't care about himself. He doesn't know a single thing. Next time, only show me something if it's important. Let's make that a rule. Okay, it's kind of important. Okay, do you know him? This person is of no interest to me whatsoever. No, I'm sorry. Okay, challenge. I have a bone to pick with you. Are you setting yourself up for a joke? <laughs> Something about a lockpick? Maybe. <laughs> Who knows? Stop expecting me. I'm trying to interrogate you. My apologies. Go ahead. So, what are we showing Folder now? We are showing him the lockpick, which he refuses to see. Where did I find、about. this again? You found it outside the I office. I found a lockpick at the scene of the crime.、Mm -hmm. well, apparently, you did. Why does this concern me? You were admitted to owning a lockpick and using to open doors. You said Remington always carried a lockpick with him. Nope. You were at the scene of the crime yesterday and might know who dropped it. You were already admitted to owning one of these, and how you're ever so happy to come and go as you please with it. Am I right? Be honest. Luckily for me, detective, I was honest with you. I believe I have、Pretty、already explained、dang. that second lockpick before you even found it. I found it before you. Never mind. That Remington borrowed your lockpick before he died. You left your lockpick by Remington's office yesterday. You lost your lockpick in the swamp and had to buy a new one. You lost your lockpick in the swamp and had to buy a new one. That's right. I appreciate you finding it for me. However, I won't ask for it back. Apparently, it has since become some diabolical instrument in the art of murder. Yeah, it's an important piece of evidence. Okay, cool. Good to know. All right,、uh, we're done with you for now. Okay, I think we looked everywhere. Um, so let's skedaddle and move on to our next spot. What's this? Looks like the stuff in the water has been moved around recently.、Oh. Maybe if I reposition them, I'll find a clue. Let's move stuff, essentially. Wait. Oh hey, look at this! It's like a puzzle. 
Right? Okay, so... That. Do we have to line them up with the what's underneath, too? I don't know. Um... Whoop. Maybe? No? Wait, 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 wait. Move you. You're here. Is this... What is this? Ah, come on! No? Okay, this isn't working. Wait, oh! Yes, I do have to... I do have to, uh... Match it with the ground. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. I recognize that footprint. It's the same as the one found at the crime scene. Okay, good. It took me far too long to figure out what I was doing. It's like a little forest back here. The rock path leading back towards the museum. This staircase is a tree. And this tree is a staircase. And this place is so weird. <laughs> this staircase... The water's clear here. I can see my reflection in it. Oh. Not bad. <laughs> Looking rather dashy. The water's clear here. I can not bet. It's like a little. Okay. The water's Oops. I can Whoa. not Whoops. bet. Whoops. Whoops. Okay. I think we saw everything. We've seen everything. Here's the tree house. Someone please tell me why there's a house here. Well, the lights are on. Maybe somebody's home. Maybe. It feels like I've stepped into nighttime. What happened to the sun? It feels... It feels... I wouldn't be using this old rope bridge if I had a choice. I've seen the movies. I know what happens. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The latch is broken on this door. Seems I can fix it with those three cogs if I just put them in the right place. Once they're on the right pins, I can move the handle at the bottom to try and open the door. Got it. All right, okie dokie, what we need. You go here... And <gasps> oops. Um you go here. You go that's not gonna work. Here? No. Wait. But this doesn't reach. Is that that's not gonna work, is it? No, it's not touching. Nope. <laughs> Okay, maybe that one doesn't go there. But this one reach either. This one has to be there to reach those top ones. And this one has to be maybe here instead. No. Perfect. Oh. I am amazing. You don't just click, you had to like move it. I figured you just had to click to turn the knob. And you know, I'd have to wiggle it! Or not the knob, the handle. <laughs> Hello? Uh, let me look around your place first. There's a whole load of needles and wool on that shelf. Or should I say yarn? I just don't know anymore. I mean... It's hard to tell at the moment. I mean... It could be synthetic. It could actually be wool. You don't know. The owner of this house seems to enjoy reading. Though, I'm not sure what else there is to do up here, actually. Knit? I love knitting. Knitting is so fun. This is like... an oven? Or is it just a boiler? Ah, it's so old-fashioned, it hurts my brain. The tree comes straight through the middle of the house. It even has little drawers carved into it. Oh, that's cute. Okay, even I'll admit, that's pretty cool. <laughs> the tree comes straight... Okay. I'm indoors. What a treat. You're indoors in a treehouse. I'm not sure how indoors that really is. A little blanket on a little bed in a little house. It makes very little sense. I mean, everything's little. Check out that sunlight beaming through the window. <laughs> it's so bright I should have brought my sunglasses. That you said it looked like nighttime outside. I'm indoors. Mm -mm. Anything else? I'm in- No, doesn't look like it. There's a book on the table. Oh. I think it's a book about flowers. Hmm. How fascinating. I must take some time to read it. I'm in- Okay. Uh, talk to her. 
You just walked straight into my house, did you? I'm going to climb up here first. I'm paid to walk into people's houses. You do need a warrant. Sorry, I would have run a bell. Not exactly, I had to climb up here first. Not exactly, I had to climb up here first. Normally, I have methods for dealing with unwanted attention. But I can make exceptions for harmless idiots. Thank you. Do you get any attention up here? Most of the time, people like to leave me alone. But I don't think you're going to, are you? Uh, no. Um, I could make an excuse and say it's my job to ask you about last night, but to be honest, I climbed all the way up here and I just like being indoors. <coughs> well, if you insist on staying, I'll tell you. I'm Lady Weybridge, and I think you might be climbing up the wrong trees. I'm Detective Grimoire, and I think I might agree with you. <laughs> what do you do here? Did you work for Richard Remington? I was living here before that man was even born. And I have absolutely nothing to do with him. Or his little tourist attraction. You're exaggerating. How long have you been here? Just in this treehouse? What do you do up here? I've been here longer than anyone. Even longer than... Well, anyone. I, I like numbers. 50 <laughs> years, something like that. What have you been doing for that time? If you don't mind me asking. I have many reasons to be here. But I won't bore you with all the details of my life. I'm sure there's one detail worth writing down. I like to study the plants and flowers in this area. Mm. I've learned many things from them. Now, what about this little chemistry set you've got on your table? I wouldn't call it a chemistry set. But if you bring me an object that has liquid on it, or inside it, I'll tell you what that liquid consists of. Wow. How do you do that? Chemistry. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so she's been here for 60 years. It was 60 years ago that the explorer saw Boggy, right? So she would have come here around that same time. A uh, page from Ray Bridge's book of pressed flowers. Contains information about all the flowers in the swamp and where they grow. The green and red species only grow around the side door of the museum and can't be found anywhere else. That's interesting. Uh, that second one looks like a poppy. And I'm not sure about the last one. I know I've seen flowers like that, but I don't remember what they're called. Alright, last night. Your job is to ask me about what happened last night. Do you even know what happened last night? <laughs> I know more than you might imagine. Oh. That sounds useful. Can you tell me? What were you doing? I was here. In my house, by myself. Mm-hmm. What else? That's it. Thanks. Just give me a minute to write all this down. <laughs> That'll be grimoire. Alright, uh, what clues do we have for you? Oh, these have, uh, liquids on them. That's why they're dripping. Uh, let me let me show other things first. That well, what would she be? Maybe this. This is a sixty-year-old journal. It was on display in a museum. I know what it is. I thought you might. Why did it go black? The background was all dark. There's samples of flowers that grow in this area. Two of them you don't see very much anymore. And one of them only grows around the museum. Good to know. You can put that away. I can't help you with it. Okay, cool. Um, anything else that... Alright, let's do these. Let's see. Alright, liquid sample collected from lockpick. First thing we do is put the sample of liquid into the cauldron. Then tap the faucet. Okay. Into the cauldron. Whoop. Alright. And now, we just have to match the color of that liquid with these ingredients. Okay, so am I just mixing primary colors then? Blue and yellow makes green in pigmented and like paints, stuff like pigmented things. Otherwise, when it comes to light, actually. 
uh, green and red would make yellow. But that's beside the point. Got it. Yeah. Now I know what that liquid consists of. Flowers and berries. I'll write it down in my notes. Good to know. Uh, can I see your notes right now? Let me back out for a second. I want to look at your notes. 52% already. Holy cow. Clues. Lockpick. The slime is a mixture of sugar, green food coloring, and carbonated water. I thought it was made up of dandelion and blueberries. Okay. <laughs> okay, anyway, sorry. Um, I also have Let's gloves. See. First thing we do is put the sap and tap. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is gonna be the exact same thing. And now... Yep. Mm-hmm. 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 Got it. Got now it. I know what yep. I'll write it down in my mm -hmm. uh, That looks pretty similar to last time. Last time. Pretty similar. Pretty similar, you say. Maybe I should just like click on the clues one. Hey, it doesn't say. It doesn't say whatever. It's all that work for nothing. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, no, thank you. Okay. How about Remington? I have nothing good to say about that man, so I won't say anything at all. I'll say you don't have something nice to say, and say anything at all. Okay, let me ask you about Foggy then. You should ask someone else. But you've been here for 60 years, wouldn't you know something about Foggy? Anything? I doubt she knows anything about the other people. Um, Show she... it to someone who doesn't live in a tree. Okay, um, one more. Just just for the heck of it, because Bobby Burl was taking pictures um, back in the swamp, so maybe she saw him. I'm not even sure who that is. Darn it. Okay, never mind. You're no help. Bye. Bye. Actually, I'm gonna... We're in the episode here, so, uh, we're gonna, since Grimoire loves to be inside, we're gonna end the episode inside this treehouse. <laughs> nice and cozy. Um, so anyway, on that note, remember to shine your light in every world. Bye!